All right, guys. It is hot out. I am way overdressed, but I left early in the morning. So I finally picked up a bike lock, so now I'm good to go as far as riding and locking my bike up. Got the Kryptonite, I don't know what model it is. Uh, it's not the New Yorker. Didn't think it was necessary because it covered up to like $4,000 bikes. And uh, my bike's only worth like 1200 bucks. So I got the eight out of 10. It's a little bigger. I can actually fit two bikes under it, which is good. And I'm walking miles here in the hot sun. Awesome vehicle. That's what I'm saving up for. Mitsubishi. So I'm just heading back to the car. Drop this heavy ass bag off. Hop on the bike, go for a rip, just so I can enjoy, enjoy the day. This is nice and warm, so I'm super, super excited to get out and do a ride by myself, I think. Uh, Andrew never got back to me, so looks like I'm flying solo. Yeah, I'm like way overdressed. I'm just sweating before I get to the car. Doesn't help that I'm carrying like a 40 pound bag, laptop, iPad, two cell phones, two cameras, GoPro. Brand new bike lock that's super heavy, the garage door. At least some nice places here. Yeah, I'm excited for this bike ride, so let's go for a bike ride. I'll show you guys some views if I can get somewhere without getting too lost. Get some good uh, sights from up high, and then we'll go probably back to the condo and uh, work on some more, whoop, work on some more editing and keep rocking. Look at this orange van, matches my bike. Stoked. So this is officially day two here in Vancouver and everything's going pretty well other than spending lots of money. So I'm excited to get working in seven days, I believe. Tomorrow will be seven days I'll start working. And I got showings for places to live, but everything's working pretty good. And I'm almost to my car, so I'm gonna go. But everything's already so green and humid already. It's hot out. All right, let's get her done. I like these townhouses here too. Hawks Ave. These are pretty cool. Sweating. But it's nice, no matter where you go here, you can pretty much see the mountains in some direction or another. Mount Baker is like one of the bigger mountains in the United States, and it's like right past all these houses. But you can see it, it's like 400 kilometers away or something like that. And you can see it from pretty much anywhere, as long as you're a little higher up than street level. Everything's converted to duplexes. Up and down duplexes. It's a cute neighborhood though. Whew. All right, let's ride. All right, just here at Stanley Park. Oh, my camera's already gonna die. Of course it is. Anyway, I just wanted to say that Jerry's out on that island somewhere. That's North Vancouver there. Ski hills and all. Towards Whistler somewhere over there, Squamish. No idea how to get there. I'm sure I'll do it sometime this summer. The big tankers out there. So yeah, Jerry's out on that island. What up, Jerry? Shout out to Jerry, the cog father. Around that corner there is somewhere is Wreck Beach. It's a nude beach. Got a sailboat out, mountains everywhere. I completely underdressed, so I went from overdressed to underdressed. So now I got goosebumps. It's only it's been fluctuating from like five to eight degrees. Uh, yeah, definitely underdressed, so I'm heading back to my car now. I've been up for 45 minutes, so it'll be another 45 minutes back, roughly. And I'll throw my bike away and then go warm up and work on some stuff on the internet. What else is new, right? Hopefully find uh, a condo here right away.
I was completely zoomed in, probably on my face. Probably sound right up my nose. All right, continue on. The camera's gonna die. I need to charge that shit right now. Bikes everywhere. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you through a quick routine. I've just parked here outside of Walmart. There I am. And so basically, I'm just going to, for now, just, oops, don't straighten out my mirror. Basically, I'm gonna grab my bike, put it on the roof. Um, tonight, I'm gonna pump up the air mattress because I haven't had that the last two nights and I was definitely missing it because there's this like weird kink in my seats. So I'm gonna pump that up and then I'm probably gonna work on my laptop for a little while, let this area chill out so there's less cars driving by and stuff like that so that I can get a little comfier without having cars drive by all the time. I got music. I got tunes. And then, uh, yeah, just work on the laptop a little bit, edit a few videos before the battery dies on the laptop, which it uh, won't because I just fully charged it, so I shouldn't have to worry before bed. And then, uh, yeah, other than that, go to bed. Uh, we have a big entrepreneurs meeting tomorrow with a bunch of people from all over the city are going to be at the Woodwards uh, up in the penthouse business area, whatever drug dealer checking me out um, so yeah hopefully meet a bunch of people tomorrow just grind for a bit and then uh, I'm meeting a girl for coffee at like four and then uh, about a house and then I'm meeting uh, at two other places at six and seven for two different locations and then I got two more places on Wednesday to look at unless I absolutely fall in love with a place because I don't want to miss out because there is only like nine days left in the month so I don't want to miss out on a uh, on a good deal or a place that I that I really like just because I want to see another place um, especially if the lease is um, somewhat open like for a three month lease or something because I just want to get into something short term so I can keep looking around um, see how I like all the different neighborhoods and stuff like that and continue on from there. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly throw my bike on the roof and uh, take it from there, bedtime. So we'll see, hopefully this looks half decent. If not, sorry guys. So, had to uh, adjust some stuff there on the roof rack because it got loose since I left uh, Edmonton. It's going to feel like luxury tonight. The last few nights have been a little rough on the back, mainly on like, the hips. Not too bad though. car's always been a little short for me anyway, but... I am six foot two, so you can't uh, complain too much. It's way bigger than my buddy's car. It's a hatchback too, so I lucked out, in my opinion. Positive thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna sit here and whip the cushion the shit out of this. Let's see that in a time lapse. Job. Time lapse right here.
looking at friends' houses and stuff. There's no character built. There's no stories to tell. I mean, they could, yeah, they could get like drunk and whatever, and sit around and do useless things. Or I can get a good night's rest. on top of keys, on top of extra keys. So, basically, I, uh, I sleep with my car starter, so if I get cold, which I shouldn't be tonight, because today was warmer than yesterday, uh, I can just start the car up in the middle of the night. The heat's on, defrost is on, the heat comes up and over and warms me up and then I fall back asleep and it's good to go. So it's only actually 9.30. I thought it was 10.30 but that's because my clock's still on Edmonton time. But Probably what I should do. I need to dig out my I need to dig out my hygiene bag and brush my teeth. Brush my tooth that I have left. So I'm going to do that, I just need to hang these keys up somewhere. There's only one spot to do right there. Alright. Good night guys. We'll do, a, we'll do a car tour one of these days. Here's some light on my face. We'll do a car tour one of these days and uh, hope you guys have a good night. Just gonna get tucked in here, brush my teeth real quick, spit out the door, which is right next to me, and we're good to go for the night.